thing I want to look at is castor oil. And I've got some good news. I'm not going to advise you drink it. (laughs) But castor oil penetrates very deep. And it penetrates deeper than any other oil. So it can be used externally. And what it does, wherever castor oil penetrates, it breaks up lumps, bumps, congestions, adhesions... It can even break up a bone spur. It can break up tumours. I have known women have told me this, that's broken up lumps in the breast and those lumps may be cysts or even breast cancer. Now we had a doctor do our program and she'd rung me up and she said to me, Barbara, can you help me? I've got a lump in my breast, it's three centimetres. I said it's important that you go on the hormone balancing cream buy some of those little panty liners, put castor oil on it and just slip it into your bra over the lump. A month later, she had the operation to take it out. Then she came to our health retreat for a week to just detox. She said, an amazing thing happened, Barbara. That lump was three centimetres. I put the castor oil on for one month. I had the op and the doctor said, you know, this is really strange. That lump was three centimetres. Now it's only two One of the guests said, well, why did you have the op? Why didn't you just do castor oil? She said, well, I didn't know till after the op. One lady told me that she totally conquered her breast cancer by just using the castor oil compressors. Remember, castor oil penetrates deeper than any other oil. (coughs) Now, to use castor oil, you make a little pack. Now, this is not really a... a, um, poultice, it's more a compress. So you'll notice I've got an old tea towel here. So you can use an old towel or something like that. And I'm going to put the castor oil on. Castor oil is very thick and it takes a little while to uh, soak in. So all I do is do about a middle third of the whole area. So I don't really want to hold it up because it's going to run. So can you see how much I've put on? But by the end of the meeting, that will have all soaked in. So I say to people, when you're using castor oil, pour it in and don't touch it for about half an hour and that will soak in. Now that's a really good area to put on the abdomen Now, if castor oil is applied to the abdomen, it will heal any problems in the abdomen. So what have we got in abdomen? For a woman, um, there's the uterus. So that will penetrate and break up fibroids in the uterus. That will penetrate and break up cysts on the ovaries. That will penetrate and soften the colon if the person has constipation. That will penetrate into the colon and heal the colon if the, if the person has bad diarrhea. Remember Psalm 104 verse 14? God gave herbs for the service of man. So whether it's diarrhea, irritable bowel, or whether it's constipation, the castor oil will go in and it will penetrate very, very deep and it causes a cleansing and a healing in that area. It's a remarkable herb. So you can use it to break up Um, gallstones, so you would put it, say, on the liver area under the right rib. You may put it at the back to break up kidney stones. I've known people that have had bone spurs, say, on the knee, and they'll apply the castor oil compressors. We had a lady do our program. She had bone spurs on both knees, (laughs) and she also had tumours in her abdomen. After doing our program, it's two years now, and both two tumours have totally gone. Her oncologist can't believe it. So she had a total lifestyle change. And she was doing also the castor oil compresses on the knees for her, knee spur, her bone spurs on her knees. She said after, I think it was six weeks, they'd, they'd gone down by half. She said she forgot to do it. And she noticed a, a month later, they were gone. <laughs> Now, last night we looked at the acid-alkaline balance, and it's a high-acid diet 
which causes these um, deposits of calcium on the bones. So she also changed her diet so that she was not having a high acid diet anymore. So the castor oil, I've also seen it help people with brain tumours. And what they do is they put it on the area. Remember, it'll penetrate very, very deep, break up lumps, bumps, congestions, adhesions. So if you've got a sore knee and you think, well, do I use the castor oil, do I use the ginger, or I do use the potato? We'll do one one night, one another night, one another night, and just see what the body says. And your body might like them all. <laughs> and that's perfectly fine because they're doing slightly different things. So it's very powerful. It'll break up a bone spur, but it will not break up your bone. Why won't it break up the bone? Because remember Psalm 104 verse 14? God gave herbs for the service of man. They work with the needs of your body. So the castor oil can be a very important part of a program on something like, well, anything that I have just suggested. Now that's already um, soaking in quite well. Can you see that? Now because it's a compress, this can be reused again and again and again. So a person might use it a dozen times. Now if someone's using it for, let's say, a fibroid on the uterus, in the uterus, they might wear it overnight. Or some people say, well, I don't like wearing it overnight. So I say, well, just wear it for at least five hours a day, for at least five days a week. Little by little by little, it'll penetrate and start breaking up any unnatural growths in the area. One lady said that it felt so comfortable on her lump in her breast, she just wore it 24-7. <laughs> and that's where you can devote a sports bra to this. Now, every time, let's say someone wears it overnight and they're going to wear it the next night, they might put another little teaspoon in. You'll get to know when it starts to dry a bit. And one person said, well, can't I just rub the castor oil into the area? You'll just get a light layer then. And any clothes you put on it are going to get castor oil on them and that is no fun to get out of your clothes. But with this compress... It's a vehicle. It's a vehicle to hold the oil. And the thicker the compress, the more oil it can hold and the more oil is available to go into you. Now, an old bush remedy in Australia is if you get something in your eye, put a drop of castor oil in your eye. And that will roll around and even take it out. And another recipe, I have not used this, but I have had people testify for glaucoma and cataracts, put one drop in each eye before you go to bed at night. That's the only time you do it because you'll go a bit blurry. But because you're going to sleep, it doesn't matter. One lady said, I'm about to have a op. What will I do? I said, well, put the drop in each eye and see what happens. And if it's too advanced to basically have a turnaround, maybe you'll have a knot. But personally, I think it's worth the try because <laughs> you just might be able to prevent a knot. Eye surgery is coming a long way and it's not a difficult operation, but it's, it's nice if it can be, be prevented. So the castor oil can be used in a variety of areas.